Welcome to Northeast England. You're watching World Travel Guide, and today we will visit the beautiful cathedral city, Durham. Durham is a city in the Unitary Authority of County Durham, in northeast England. The city lies on the River Ware, to the southwest of Sunderland. Founded over the final resting place of St. Cuthbert, its Norman Cathedral became a center of pilgrimage in medieval England. The cathedral and the 11th century castle were designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1986. Much of the city's early prosperity stemmed from its strategic position on the route to Scotland, as well as the powerful draw of St. Cuthbert's Shrine. At the same time, the beautiful surrounding countryside was divided into large estates, on which feudal barons erected splendid castles. From the early modern period onwards, the coal industry came to play an increasingly important role, and pit heads and chimneys soon dotted the landscape. In the 19th century, the population swelled with an influx of immigrant workers, and while industrialists built grand houses, working-class districts grew, and trade unions were founded. These days, Durham is one of the most visited of England's many beautiful cities, and boasts plenty of fun things to do, from exploring its historic architecture, to dining at its many restaurants, as well as shopping in the popular indoor market. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the old city centre boasts 600 listed buildings, including Crook Hall, Kingsgate Bridge, Elvet Bridge and the Town Hall. Durham Cathedral is famous for its beautiful British Romanesque style architecture. Whether approached from the narrow streets of the old city across Palace Green, or from the banks of the River Weir over Prebence Bridge, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is truly awe-inspiring. Completed between 1093 and 1133, the building is entered by the 12th century Northwest Door. Inside, visitors will be faced with many wonderful sights to explore. Highlights include the graceful Galilee Chapel, the Norman nave with its massive piers and columns, as well as the Cathedral Tower. Built as a fortress by the Earl of Northumberland in 1072, Durham Castle, also part of the Durham UNESCO World Heritage Site, was presented by William the Conqueror to the city's Prince Bishops. The most interesting rooms are the Norman Chapel, with its delightful carved archaic capitals, the large 14th century dining hall, the 16th century chapel, and 17th century black stairs complete with pineapple carvings. The castle is home to University College, the founding college of Durham University. The interior of the Durham Town Hall is well worth taking a peek at. Its modest, glass-fronted reception gallery hides a variety of period rooms, including the dramatic main hall, with its stained glass windows and hammer beam oak roof. Beamish, the Living Museum of the North, is a great living museum, set in 300 acres of beautiful countryside just 15 kilometers outside Durham. It offers a look into the lives of those who lived in the area during the Georgian, Victorian and Edwardian eras. Costumed characters bring the displays to life, and help tell the amazing story of how the Industrial Revolution transformed the region. Incredibly, all the buildings at Beamish were brought brick by brick from across Durham County and rebuilt on site. With a temperate oceanic climate, a typically warm summer and chilly to cold winters, Durham seldom experiences extreme weather conditions, in the sense that the city attracts tourists throughout the year. The weather in Durham is erratic only as is true for the rest of the country, which means that you can witness parts of all the four seasons in a day. 
Usually, the hottest month of the year is July, while the coldest month is January, with an even rainfall spread through the year, with the wettest month being November. Do you find Durham fascinating or rather boring? Leave a comment and tell us your opinion.